Welcome to the YouTube channel Techie Jack. In this video, we are going to install WordPress on the CentOS web panel. So let's move to the control panel and get started. So let's log into our server. And if we see the account list account, you can see the testing dot in there. If I try to open the website right now, the default page is opening. We want to install the WordPress website on this testingo.in domain. Let me close this. For this, we have to go to the user control panel. If you click this icon, you will be directly logged into the user control panel without the password. If user have to log into this control panel, he have to open this URL. Let me try to open this on incognito. Here you can see it has a port 2083. And user will get this option to log in and he can log in with his credentials here. So right now we are logged in with this account that is testing and we want to install the WordPress on this. So what you can do, you can go to the add on here and you can see the script. Here we have a uh, multiple scripts and we want to install the WordPress. So click on the WordPress install. And here you have to choose the domain that is a testing dot in. If you put a WP here, it will create a subdomain like WP dot testing dot in. It will not install the WordPress on the root domain. Here you can see for example, to install on the www.mydomain.com directory, just enter the directory. Otherwise leave the field empty. We want to install it on the root domain. So I will remove this and I will make it empty and the site title will be just for example, I am typing my first site and description will be for example, let's put the WordPress and here you can put the username. Let me select the username as a Jack and the password. Let's click on generate a secure password. So this is the password for our WordPress and I will put the email info at techiejack.com and here you can select the language. I will keep it as default as English. And here you have a database name, database username and the database password. So you have to select these things and just click on install. It is giving us a confirmation. You are about to install WordPress. Please confirm your installation. You can copy this detail and just click on continue. You can see the attention. The installation path you selected is not empty. It is not empty because the default page is there. So this action will remove all file in directory. Earlier you see the default page. So it will remove the default page and will install the WordPress. So let's click on continue. So right now you can see that it is installing WordPress. It will take some time. You have to wait until the installation is completed. So you can see the installation was completed successfully. So we have WordPress installed and if we click on this link and open it, you can see the WordPress is there. We selected the title as my first site and you can see in the testing dot in the WordPress is successfully installed. Now you can customize this WordPress. If we go back here, this is an admin dashboard for your WordPress and this is the URL for the WordPress admin. If we open this link, it will ask us the credential. So let me provide the credential here. So the username was Jack and I will put the password and let's try to log in. So now you can see we are successfully logged into the WordPress. It says welcome to WordPress. The version is 6.4.1. And from here you can customize your theme. Here we have a themely market. From here you can choose the themes. So we have successfully installed the WordPress website on CWP. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in a next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.